dear students welcome in the lecture on extraction of refining of lithium so in this lecture we will discuss about the extraction procedure and refining of lithium from its ore so if we see the lithium so we will find that this lithium is widely distributed in the nature it is about twice plentiful as that of lead in the earth crust the amount present in any mineral is always small actually the amount in the mineral they are very small so we have to extract this uh, metal from the minerals with the help of metallurgy uh, because the amount of lithium in the mineral is very less the percentage is very less so its extraction is not very easy uh, the uh, lithium bearing minerals the minerals that are known as the ores which uh, which are having the lithium and these uh, ores they are helpful in the extraction of lithium so there are two types of ores of lithium one are aluminosilicates and the others are phosphates so the one class is aluminosilicate so among these aluminosilicates lepidolite or this is also known as lithia mica and this ore is containing about 2 to 6% of lithium so you can see that the percentage of lithium is very low or less in a particular ore so it is very difficult to, to extract this particular metal okay and the second uh, aluminosilicate ore is petalite and it is containing around 2 to 3% of lithium the third one is that is important ore uh, that is helpful in the extraction of lithium that is spodumene and we will discuss about the extraction and purification of lithium from this or that is spodumene and it is lial sio3 whole twice it, it is uh, containing 4 to 6% of lithium so lithium these three are lepidolite petalite and spodumene these three are the aluminosilicate ores of the lithium and the other types of ores are phosphates and these phosphates they contain triphylite and this triphylite ore is containing 2 to 4% of lithium while that of ambilo uh, ambligonite it contains 7 to 10% of lithium so the spodumene is an important ore that can be used to extract lithium okay so uh, the general method if we if we see the extraction procedure then we will find that the extraction of lithium from its ore can be done through the two steps so step 1 is the conversion of ore to lical and the next step is the electrolysis of this lical so only two steps are necessary one is lical from ore and the other is the electrolysis of lical that can be helpful in the extraction of lithium metal and how we can prepare this lical from the ore so we can again uh, go through two methods so one is acid treatment method and other is fusion method so these two are the methods for preparation of lical from its ore so first method is acid treatment method so this is one of the method which is helpful in the preparation of lical from its ore so in this method we will see that the finally powdered spodumene that is the ore of li that is boiled with the sulfuric acid so when this spodumene is boiled with sulfuric acid it is converting into lithium sulfate and aluminum sulfate along with silica so this silica is insoluble okay so we can filter after treating the spodumene with h2so4 we can filter and in the soluble part we will get li2so4 and al2so4 whole thrice while this sio2 will remain in the residue 
then the solution containing li2so4 that is lithium sulfate and aluminum sulfate it is again treated with oxalic acid and this oxalic acid it reacts with this lithium sulfate to form lithium oxalate while that aluminum sulfate will remain insoluble so now we can separate out this lithium from the aluminum so now in the solution there is lithium oxalate so from this lithium oxalate we can convert this lithium oxalate to lithium carbonate by the treatment of lithium oxalate with sodium carbonate so we will get lithium carbonate and then this lithium carbonate on reaction with this hcl it can generate or form that is lical so in this way we can just convert the o to lical so what we we then we we had added is this spodumene h2so4 then we will get the lia2so4 and al2so4 well uh, we can separate the sio2 then this uh, mixture of lithium and aluminum sulfate that was treated with the oxalic acid and in oxalic acid Uh, the lithium sulfate was soluble it will form the soluble lithium oxalate then this lithium oxalate will be treated with the sodium carbonate and then this lithium carbonate is treated with hcl and then thus we get the lical so one is the acid treatment method and this uh, in this acid treatment method we can easily form this lical from the ore the other method is fusion method so this is the another method uh, with the help of which we can just generate the uh, this one uh, that is the lical and in this method the pulverized ore that is uh, again we can take spodumene and it is fused with a mixture of barium carbonate barium sulfate and potassium sulfate so when this uh, spodumene it reacts with barium sulfate and barium carbonate it will convert into lithium sulfate and lithium carbonate along with aluminum silicate and barium silicate so you can see that we can add this spodumene ore with barium sulfate barium carbonate and potassium sulfate solution and after the fusion of reaction we will get two separate layers the upper layer is formed of the uh, alkali metal salts while the lower layer is Uh, the insoluble part that contains the generally the silicates and barium sulfate so this part can be separated by filtration so that we have only the uh, soluble part will contain only lithium sulfate lithium carbonate and potassium sulfate okay so in this soluble part the lower layer can be rejected because that was containing the insoluble part so in this upper part which is soluble part we can add barium chloride and when we add barium chloride this lithium sulfate will convert into lical uh, then baso4 we will get then li2co3 was there uh, which cannot react with bacl2 so you will find that in that solution we have lical baso4 kcl and li2co3 among these the lical and kcl they are soluble and then they will remain in the solution okay so we will filter out and uh, we will uh, have lithium sodium and potassium in the solution so if we have these in the solution then we will uh, this uh, evaporate the solution that is containing lical and kcl up to dryness and the residue then extract with the pyridine and in this pyridine only lithium chloride will dissolve and this lithium chloride and pyridine uh, the, uh, that was distilled off uh, um, uh, from this we can distill of the pyridine and we will get the lithium chloride so in this way from these two methods we can convert the o to lithium chloride so this is the just a uh, this flow chart of a fusion method and we will find that spodumene is fused with barium carbonate barium sulfate and k2so4 and then filter and uh, this precipitate this insoluble part can be separated and we will have the soluble part that is 
having potassium sulfate, lithium carbonate and lithium sulfate and into this we will add BaCl2 again filter then we will find uh, one insoluble part that is containing BSO4 and lithium carbonate and in this soluble part we will get LiCl and KCl then treat this with pyridine then we will get pyridine LiCl in pyridine, so this LiCl in pyridine can be distilled off and this pyridine can be uh, distilled off and we will get the LiCl. So in this way we will get LiCl by two methods that is acid treatment method and fusion method. And we will, when we will get LiCl that can be electrolyzed to get lithium. So uh, in for this we have a mixture of LiCl and KCl and that is taken uh, in an electrochem electrolytic cell in this electrolytic cell electrolysis will takes place and for this electrolysis we have still steel cathode and graphite anode and we will see that after operating this electrolytic cell at 673 Kelvin and voltage of 8 to 9 volt this lithium will uh, be collected on the surface of cathode okay so in this way we will get lithium from lithium chloride so during the electrolysis the following reaction will take place this lithium from lithium chloride it will be uh, this uh, uh, collected on the cathode while this chloride in the form of chlorine gas it will be collected at the anode so this is the final reaction so in this way uh, you can see that uh, how how this lithium can be extracted from the uh, this uh, spodumene ore and here you can see that extraction of Li can takes place in two steps one is the preparation of LiCl and other is electrolysis of LiCl and this LiCl can be prepared by two methods acid treatment method and fusion method and when we get this LiCl from one of these two methods that LiCl can be electrolyzed and then we can get this Li. Okay, so this is the extraction method of Li from its or that is spodumene. So, thank you very much.